Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am officially back in Scotland, which is exciting and a little bit sad, but we're getting there and my friends are coming home soon. Yeah, but today I thought I would do the 50 rapid fire book questions tag. So basically this is just gonna be 50 questions and I'm gonna have to answer them as quickly as possible. Shout out to the original creator. I will link in the description. I believe it's by Girl Reading, but if I am wrong, I am very sorry. We're just gonna do it. So first question questions hardback or paperback generally i would go for paperback but i honestly don't really care paperback is just easier to transport so it's also easier to crack the spine of a paperback and i like doing that so question number two dust jacket off or on i'm gonna go ahead and say off i honestly most of the time take them off and throw them out because i think the books are generally uglier some exceptions do apply all right third question is second hand or new copies generally i would go for second hand they're cheaper it's better for the environment of course if it's a new release i will definitely get a new copy and sometimes i do treat myself to a new book once in a while but generally if it is a book i can get second hand i will next question is audiobooks or nah i'm gonna go ahead with nah i'm really bad at concentrating on the book I, I need to get better at that question number five do you cover by no not really honestly i usually buy a book if i want to read it <laughs> Question number six, what's a good book with a bad cover? I'm gonna go with this vintage edition of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. I personally think this is boring as hell and considering how quirky and weird Alice in Wonderland is, it should be better. Okay, next question, what's a bad book with a good cover? These we have a lot of. I'm going to go with Uprooted by Naomi Novik. I know this isn't like the prettiest cover of all, but it actually does apply quite well to the book and it's also not ugly at all but the story is really bad so next first book you ever read i don't know i have no clue like some type of children's book last book you finished twilight by stephanie meyer last series you finished my god i think it's the raven cycle which i finished last year last book you bought men we reaped by jasmine ward question number 12 what's your favorite genre fiction spectacular fiction modernist that's it what's your favorite book in that genre a doll's house by henrik ibsen which is a play but it's still modernist so number 14 what genre do you never reach for science fiction I feel like and also like modern romance or like just romance as a genre. I really want to get into it But I'm scared. All right question number 15. Do you read poetry? Yes, I do not a lot But some question 16 popular science question mark. I don't know what popular science is so probably not Do you read middle grade? I do sometimes 18. Do you have any book box subscriptions? I don't but I want to question number 19. What's your favorite bookish item? I'm a sucker for a good bookmark that I'll never use. I also really like book inspired candy candles uh so those question number 20 what's your current bookmark i don't use one like i forget to use them but i think i have like like a chocolate bar wrapper in one of my books currently question number 21 what's the strangest object you've used as a bookmark anything goes for me um i have used receipts i've used a leaf i have used a chocolate bar wrapper have used anything that's not a bookmark awesome question number 22 book jackets or not i don't really know what a book jacket is so probably not 23 who's your fictional boyfriend i don't have one because i am 22 years old 24 favorite book couple question mark blue and gansey from the raven cycle cat and levi from fangirl i also love a lot uh oh well you know simon and baz from carry on not from my concern i don't like their relationship in that one simon and blue you know they're cute but we don't really get to see their relationship much so favorite book villain i don't remember reading a book that had a villain in it except for twilight and that's not a great villain what has a villain in it i don't know favorite book adventure god there are so many i'm gonna go ahead and say the adventure from the chronicles of narnia i think it's really well developed it's really fun i enjoy it also the hobbit is a really solid adventure book those two they do adventure really well i also do really enjoy the adventure in the person Jackson series. I cannot think of a single adult book with adventure in it right now. So those are the answers you're gonna get. Series, trilogies, or standalones. I think we all know uh, series don't scare me. I just tend not to read a lot of them. There are some really good series out there as well, but standalones are just what I read the most of, especially because I'm a literature student. We don't read series, obviously. Mixed media books or paragraphs. What does that mean? Just a normal book? Is that just, I think just paragraphs. I haven't read a lot of mixed media books and the ones that I have 
have attempted to read haven't done it very well i'm sure there are some really good ones out there but generally i do tend to read for paragraph books there are a lot of terms here that i am unfamiliar with what's your favorite book adaptation and here's where we get controversial <laughs> i have a few answers for this twilight is really good it's actually like a good film whereas the book is a bad book i do love the hunger games and the catching fire adaptation i haven't watched mocking jay part one or two in so long that i honestly don't have an opinion on it anymore 10 things i hate about you which is a great adaptation of the taming of the shrew another good adaptation is the bbc northern lights adaptation from this year Next, film adaptations or tv adaptations i don't really care to be honest what book needs an adaptation aristotle and dante discover the secrets of the universe please i would love to see the raven cycle as like a tv show from hbo or something i would love to see a good lolita adaptation but i don't think it's gonna happen song of achilles so badly please cersei as well favorite book world i don't know for a long time it was harry potter it's hard to find solace in harry potter anymore i love the raven cycle world i really do but i don't think it's my favorite i think nostalgia wise middle earth probably from the hobbit i haven't read the lord of the rings but it's the same world so also the narnia world i really enjoyed a lot as a kid favorite writing style i can get on board with just about anything as long as the book helps me get used to it so that means that the first 15 pages of a book might be a bit hard for me to get into or read but once i'm there i will read the whole book that is to say that i can read any style my favorite is something like easily digestible but with content i'm not into all that like deep stuff what's a book that you love that people don't know about i think that the kite runner is being slept on that's it by the book community absolutely i know it's an older book i know it's not recent but the kite runner is a beautiful book what's a popular book that you hate it boy let's let's get into it i guess the lara jean series i didn't like i thought she was childish which i mean she was a child so i suppose that's fair but i also just thought she was annoying i don't like the shadow hunter books i think they're obnoxious and annoying favorite childhood read evermore like the immortals series so much and i have seen no one talk about it and i want to talk about it so badly i also want to reread it because i don't think they're actually good but i love them obviously was obsessed with harry potter and twilight and the hunger games which that last one still definitely applies what's a book that changed your life call me by your name by andre asiman it's phenomenal i love it it's not the best book in the world something clicked with me and i knew i wanted to study literature when i read it what book did you hate at school macbeth by shakespeare 100 it's awful i hate it do you buy to collect kind of if i have books in a certain collection or edition i would enjoy having more of those for it to look nice however i don't care that much i will go for the ones that i already have editions of or the ones that i think are prettiest but other than that no i don't just buy a book because it fits into a collection do you donate books i haven't done it in a while because i actually don't have that many books here and i don't have that many books at home anymore because before i moved i donated a bunch of books so yes i do donate my books to libraries what's your favorite reading snack i am really into pecan nuts i know that's a weird snack to mention maybe but pecan nuts can just get it you know what's your favorite reading position i like to be in my bed or in a really nice armchair but i don't have one of those natural light or lamp light i think everyone would go for natural light for this one obviously that's not always possible especially not when you live as far north as i do however i would always go for natural light outside or inside i don't like reading outside because it's cold because i live in the north if it's a good summer day i'll read outside 100 breaking the cover or keeping it smooth i don't care i don't care how my books look or if they get broken or if i spill coffee on them or if i crack the spine or anything i just want to be able to read the book it does not matter to me do you read in other languages i primarily read in english that is the language i am most comfortable with however it is not my mother tongue so i read in danish which is the language that i grew up with uh, and i also can and do sometimes read in norwegian or swedish i like to read books if i can in their original language i also once read but yes i do to read in other languages what book series do you want to finish this year i think i should start a book series before i finish one what book release are you most excited about right now cemetery boys it's gonna be so good i don't remember who it's by so i'm just gonna i can't google it cemetery boys i'll put the author and the thing here pre-order it sounds amazing 
Do you have a favorite book influencer? Don't remember who. I really like Kat. I think everyone likes Kat. I really love Cindy. Cindy's my girl. I have never met or talked to any of these people, so just keep that in mind. I love those two. Question number 50, do you have a channel, blog, or social media feed? I have all three. I am very bad at updating my Instagram. I am sorry, and I will keep trying to get better. I obviously have a channel, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this. I also do have a blog. I never write on there, but I am trying. All right, that is it for me today. Have a nice day. Bye.